Good morning, this is Ken. Today, Tuesday, December 3rd, I'll be delivering the latest Tesla-related news. Today, I'll be introducing Tesla's 2024 holiday update, which has been officially announced. Let's get started. Among the updates, the one I'm most excited about is this. Tesla app on Apple Watch. You can now use your Apple Watch as a phone key. Additionally, you can check battery charge status, open and close the front trunk, and activate climate control, all from your Apple Watch. This is a fantastic update for Apple Watch users. As an Apple Watch user myself, I'm thrilled with this update. Next is the ability to save dash cam and sentry mode clips to your smartphone. With the Tesla app, you can now view dash cam and sentry mode footage directly and save it to your smartphone. Editing and sharing are also possible, so I'm looking forward to testing how it works once updated. Then we have auto shift on the steering column less Model 3. In the Highland Model 3, which lacks a steering column, the car will automatically shift between drive and reverse during parking or maneuvering. This feature will be handy in tight parking scenarios. I can't wait to see how this works with the Highland Model 3. Sirius XM. Sirius XM is now available on the Model 3, Model Y, and Cybertruck. For those unfamiliar, Sirius XM is a satellite radio and streaming service available in the US. It seems it's accessible from Japan, though, without official support. Arrival battery level setting. You can now set your desired battery charge level for when you reach your destination. For example, if you set it to 50%, the navigation system calculates the necessary charging stops along the route to ensure you arrive with that remaining charge. I'm curious to see if this feature will also suggest non-supercharger stations. Search along route and detour time display. While navigating, you can filter search results along your route and view detour times. This is helpful when looking for cafes or superchargers, as it lists only nearby options, minimizing time loss. Precipitation map and destination weather info. You can now check precipitation directly on the map and view weather details for your destination. Rear cross traffic warning. When reversing, the system detects pedestrians or vehicles crossing behind and alerts you with an audio warning. This is a great safety update. Cybertruck Custom Wrap and License Plate Customization. You can now personalize your Cybertruck's avatar with custom wraps and license plates. You can use preloaded designs or upload your own via USB. Templates and instructions will be available on GitHub. This adds a fun, creative element. Cybertruck Rear Camera Enhancement. The rear camera view now supports zooming with pinch-to-zoom functionality. TuneIn, Tesla's TuneIn radio has been improved offering live sports, music, news, podcasts, and over 100,000 live radio stations worldwide, all for free with no setup required. Cybertruck Rear Arcade. Passengers in the rear seats can now enjoy games during their ride. Cybertruck Santa Mode. In Santa Mode, Cybertruck's avatar transforms into Santa's sleigh, complete with reindeer and elves. This feature is already available on Model 3 and Model Y and has now been extended to Cybertruck. My family is also using Santa Mode since it's December. Light Show Scheduling from Tesla App You can now schedule light shows remotely via the app, including two new light shows added in this update. Boomerang Fuel This seems to be a new game, Fart on Contact. Tesla's humor strikes again with new sounds for the fart feature. It's always a fun addition. Adjust passenger seats from controls. A new seat control panel allows you to adjust passenger and second row seats. Maintenance overview. The touchscreen now displays maintenance items for tracking and management. Other minor updates include rear screen remote control for video playback while driving, parking spot searches near destinations, automatic music volume reduction while reversing, dynamic navigation to avoid road closures, mobile notifications from sentry mode when door handles are pulled, an energy app consumption page for Model S, X, and Cybertruck, and traffic information on navigation routes without premium connectivity. Additionally, supercharger availability at arrival will now be displayed on the touchscreen. That's it for the 2024 holiday update. It's packed with features. Once I've updated my car, I'll test these features and possibly share my impressions on YouTube. Tesla continues to improve its cars after purchase, and these updates are free. Whether you buy a Tesla this year or next, the features remain consistent, which is fantastic. Now let's move on to a market check. Dow Jones, 
The Dow is down by $158, closing at 44,752. NASDAQ, NASDAQ is up by 196 points, closing at 19,414. S&P 500, the S&P 500 is down by 22 points, falling below 6,000 to 5,998. Tesla stock, Tesla is up significantly today, gaining $12 to close at $357. NVIDIA, NVIDIA also rose slightly, closing in the $138 range. Dogecoin, Doge has dropped, now in the 41 range. Currency exchange, the yen has strengthened, reaching the 149 range against the dollar. Tesla's rise today might be due to the positive reception of the FSD V13 update. Kathy Wood's trades. According to data from November 29th, Kathy Wood has been buying Tesla shares. Finally, let's highlight today's featured comment by Kasara Sarah. Thank you for featuring my comment. The progress with FSD V13 is amazing. Ken, your video design is cool. The lower progress bar and futuristic visuals are great. Uh, watching your video first helps me understand the English version better. Thank you. I truly appreciate the kind feedback. I've always wanted to share content in English. Recently, a friend suggested it, and another introduced me to a service that helps with English content creation. Although it takes more time than before, I've started making English versions of my videos. While my international audience is still small, I hope the English videos will eventually surpass the Japanese ones in views. Thank you all for your comments. Feel free to share your thoughts on today's content as well. On this channel, I share Tesla-related news. If you're interested in Tesla, please subscribe. I post daily updates so, so you can stay informed about Tesla in just 10 minutes a day. If you found today's content helpful, please like the video. Thank you for watching and let's enjoy life with Tesla.